So this is something I never could have done a year ago or before. Um, definitely not before, but um, yeah, sharing myself without my wig or makeup, not a speck of makeup and no hair and a freshly buzzed head from last night. Um, I, I don't know if you remember, you saw a video a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, where um, my daughter-in-law, Ashley, buzzed my head and we left the sideburns because my temple hair grows so low that I either have to keep it kind of longer because it shows on wigs or I keep it really short and it was bugging me um, plus with it getting to be warmer closer to summer I decided I'd rather just have it all clean and buzzed anyway I, I feel better and I think it looks better um, I feel it just feels better so I last night I went ahead and buzzed all over again on a two um, so this is me um, this is me in my natural state, um, and I decided I needed to share this again. Um, I, I think I shared some pictures last summer for the first time without my wig on, without hair, um, or makeup, and, um, that was super scary, and actually ended up being kind of traumatic because I had shared it to Facebook and didn't mean to when I shared it to Instagram. Um, but everyone was so supportive and I think it helps people who are maybe just beginning this journey and maybe just need some encouragement that you're not alone and um, that you're beautiful with or without your hair and with or without your makeup. So um, I just wanted to share this. So I'm also, I wanted to say I've been kind of absent uh, from most social media, not Facebook, but I haven't been on Instagram at all in like 10 days. And that started off as an accident, um, not an accident, but not planned. Uh, weekend before last, we were working on getting stuff ready for the estate sale for my mom and stepdad, and um, which is coming up this weekend. And I was just so busy all weekend, I didn't have time to do any posts or, or even check in on Instagram. And then at work last week, I had a, a sales tax auditor there all week, we're being audited. And so I was with her a lot and really busy working on what she needed. And um, I was just too tied up at work all week um, to, to do anything on Instagram or check in. So. By then it had been almost a week and I was actually kind of enjoying the break. Um, I don't know if anyone else does this, but you get so wrapped up in making sure you're posting every single day and doing all the things that are supposed to help the algorithm to help you get more followers. And you know, you reach a point, <laughs> I do anyway, where it's like, um, I, I'm constantly checking in on Instagram and my followers were going, I was like gaining two and losing two and gaining and over analyzing the whole thing. And like, what am I doing wrong? And it's, it, sometimes you just need to take a break and it's been really nice, not even thinking about it or worrying about it. So, um, I took a break and, um, I'll probably start posting more often again, but I'm not, I'm just not going to get all tied up in all of that again. I don't, I mean, I'm sure I will, <laughs> but I'm going to try not to, and I am going to take a break every once in a while when I feel like I need to, and just not check in and not, so I haven't commented on anybody's stuff because I haven't been on there, and, um, but I've missed you all, and I will be back probably this week, so um, hope everyone's doing well and, um, it's almost May and, uh, we, we did, ha I'll mention, we did have really bad storms in Oklahoma over the weekend, but we're all safe in Tulsa. Um, I, 
and keeping all the cities and uh, uh, rural areas in Oklahoma in my prayers that were hit had like terrible tornadoes and lots of damage and some loss of life and it was bad so keeping all of those people in my thoughts and prayers so anyway have a great day have a great week and I'll be back